My name is Nicolas Filon. I'm a field application engineer supporting ST microcontrollers. In this video, I will explain you how to create professional GUI, so graphical user interface solutions for ultra low cost devices using STM32 and TouchGFX. The idea is to bring professional GUI to low cost STM32 like the STM32 G0, thanks to the version 4.15 of TouchGFX. The version 4.15 of TouchGFX is optimized for low-cost GUI. It offers minimum library footprint, starting from 30 kilobytes of flash and 8 kilobytes of RAM. It has new partial frame buffer, which permits to minimize needed RAM for image building with configurable partial frame buffer size and configurable number of partial frame buffers. It also offers smart partial screen updates to offer higher user interface performance. There is a new support for inexpensive non-memory mapped external flash. So the TouchGFX is now supporting our cost-effective and robust stm 2 G0 MCU. The stm 2 G0 is a Cortex M0 Plus microcontroller running up to 64 MHz. It has memory range from 16 to 512 kilobytes of flash. And for the RAM, from 8 to 144 kilobytes of SRAM. Packages offer from 8 to 100 pin counts, and it also offers 125 degree C temperature range. Let's take an example with a QVGA display. For UI performance of 16-bit color with basic animation and screen transitions, using for hardware a QVGA 320 by 240 SPI display, we can use the stm 2 G071, which has a Cortex-M0 Plus running up to 64 MHz. It has up to 128 kilobytes of flash and 36 kilobytes of SRAM. We just need an external NOR and no external RAM is needed. The memory requirements are as follow. 75 kilobytes of internal flash and 16 kilobytes for the RAM, which includes 10 kilobytes for the library data and 6 kilobytes for the partial frame buffer. This is a 95% RAM size saving compared to 150 kilobytes for a full frame buffer. For the demo, we can use the X Nucleo GFX01M Shield Expression Board. It has 8 MB of serial SPI flash and a 2.2 inches SPI QVGA TFT LCD with a resolution of 240 by 320 pixels and a bit depth of 16 bits per pixel. We offer an out of the box TouchGFX designer support for Nucleo G071RB and X-Nucleo GFX01M. With new application templates in TouchGFX Designer and three new online applications providing full project example in source code. The new generic X-Cube display software package includes basic drivers and Hello World example, which allows support of the display extension by partner software solutions. Now it's time for a quick demonstration to show you how easy it is to get started. First, we're going to get TouchGFX. So for this, from ST.com, we're going to download and unpack one zip the Xcube TouchGFX, so the latest one. So let's do this. I am on ST.com, and now I'm going to make a search for Xcube TouchGFX in the search menu right there. In the tools and software, we can see now the Xcube TouchFX and also the TouchFX designer that is available for download in standalone. But if we download the Xcube TouchFX, it comes with the touch designer inside. So that's what we're going to download and unzip. So let's uh, click on this and we're going to get the software and click the software, get software again, accept and then log in, you know, to download the uh, Xcube. Once the Xcube has been downloaded and unzipped, so it will look like this. 
And now you will go to utilities inside you know, this directory, utilities directory, PC software, TouchGFX designer. And here you will find the TouchGFX, uh, so the version at least 4.15.0. And that's the installer right there. So double click on it to install the TouchGFX designer. I have downloaded the package inside my TMP uh, directory. I have unzip it. And now I'm going to go inside to utilities, PC software, TouchGFX designer, and here is the installer. So double click on it to install the software. Once TouchGFX designer is installed, we're going to open it and we're going to create a TouchGFX project. So for that, we're going to use the online application example using the stm 2 G071 Nucleo demo template that is available. Once installed, you should have an icon on your desktop. So TouchGFX for me, it's a 4.15.0 designer, so double click on it to open the application. In TouchGFX designer, first thing, we're going to go to the online applications, right there. I'm going to give a name to my application. So my G0 appli. So this is where it's going to be created. And now I'm going to select my Nucleo board for my G0. So this one, the first one right there. stm 2 G071 Nucleo demo. And select. We're going to keep 16-bit color def by default. And now we're going to create the project by clicking here. Now make sure that you have your Nucleo board G0 and the X Nucleo GFX 01M1 connected and connected to your computer using you know, the USB cable connected to uh, the ST-Link on your Nucleo board. Once you have done that, also make sure that you have the STM32 Q programmer installed on your machine. So at least a version 2.5.0. So you can download it from st.com also. And once you have done that, click on Run Target from TouchGFX Designer. So this is my setup with a Nucleo board G0 at the bottom. And uh, on top, I connected like a X Nucleo GFX01 M1 expansion board. I have connected also a USB cable to the nuclear board that I'm going to connect to my laptop. On my laptop, I have a STM32 Q programmer pre installed, so at least a version 2.5.0. So you can install it from st.com. And now, so if we are back to TouchGFX Designer, the only thing we need to do is go back here and press on run target or F6. So I'm going to do that. And we're going to flash the code. So once you have programmed the demonstration, we can let the demo run and play with it. So by using the joystick here to go to the different menus, as you can see right there. Go to the first one, for example. Play different pictures. And go to the information right there. And so on. There are other menus like, uh, for example, like a language, navigation. graphs, and so on. So this is just to show you how easy it is, you know, to just getting started with uh, this great demonstration on the G0 with TouchGFX. Here I added a few links, so useful links for you. First one, how to find, you know, TouchGFX, so the Xcube TouchGFX from our website. The second one is about the expansion board, so the Xnucleo GFX01 M1. So it's available right now. You can order it um, from our website, also st.com. And then the Nucleo board, uh, so I use the Nucleo G071RB. And this is the link also from our website where you can order it. Thank you for watching and have a good day.